Hello everyone, this is Melanie with Lithium Treasures. Today is Thursday, the 22nd of October. And let me tell you something, I love Thursdays because Thursdays are always the first day of estate sales. And let me tell you something, I went overboard. I bought a lot. Oh my God, it was an entire community garage sale and my husband is going to kill me but what that means is i'm going to sit my butt down after i do this video start posting as quickly as i can and try to start flipping as quickly as i can because i've got some amazing stuff here and let me show you you want to see you want to see what i got all right um a lot of this stuff has price tags on it um obviously i didn't pay it because everything was half off i love half off sales aside from being half off some of the stuff you know you wheel you deal you talk to people and you get some great stuff so i'm going to show you the first thing uh, where do i begin do i build it up or do i just go for it okay so we'll just build it up i'll just bring a bag out first of all with my friend i go uh shopping with my friend he bought me this look at that today i will choose joy I am going to hang this up right in my office. In fact, I already have a hook right there. I am going to hang it up right in my office. So this way, every time I look up, I will say, today I choose joy. Because that, I think, is important. Then, here we go. Dun, 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 All right, so VHS, VHS are one of those iffy things, but you know something? There is a market for VHS. So when I see movies like that, I'll grab them. That's the digitally remastered Jaws. Then take a look at this little fellow. I wish he had the tags. It's Charmander. I got my little Charmander. This is the original Pokemon Charmander from Tommy. What year does it say? It doesn't say... Well, it's manufactured by Tommy 2018, but look at how cute that is. It's little baby Charmander. I got Charmander. Then I thought this was just totally cool when I picked him up. He's a Scotland bear. Look at that. It's a little bear with a Scottish, uh, but of course he has no tags or anything, but he has the flag and it says Scotland and a shirt says Scotland. So I thought that was a cute thing. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, look at this. Perfect. Perfect for Halloween. Look at that. It is a skull, like pocketbook, but it's a hard one. It's a hard shell skull pocketbook. I thought that was awesome, so I had to get that. The question is, am I getting that for myself or am I reselling? Of course I'm reselling all this stuff. Oh, this is a bag. Well, I'm not going to show you this bag just yet. I'll show you this bag in just one second. I'll explain that bag. Let me show what other stuff I got. Then I've got, look at this. It is a truck. Digital Solutions. It is a Matchbox 1991 truck for digital printing solutions, Canon, and electronic image. These actually go really well. So that I can bundle up with the rest of the stuff. Then oh, check this out. Might save this for myself as well. It is a deluxe warming comfort bag for hot or cold therapy. It is one of those heavy weighted like ice, like um, rice things with the soft furriness and you put it in the microwave or you put it in the freezer and it'll help with all kinds of headaches, cramps, belly aches, that sort of thing. I thought this was kind of cool. Conquistadors uh, and cannibals. The early history of Padre Island. Thought that was really cool. However, this one is a good one. Look at this. <gasps> Topsy Turvy, depending on which way you look at it. Topsy Turvy. Uh, vintage book. I checked the comps on that. Very, very happy. So, there's a story. I think if I pull this up, everybody's going to be like, no, girl, you didn't. I did. So, you ready? I'm pulling up. Do you know what these are? How well are you? These are bolo items. These are bolo items. I'm going to show you them carefully. You know what these are. You see what these are? These are Papo figures. P-A-P-O. This is a bolo item. However, 
I've got It is an entire collection of Popo figures. I really just wanted the figures. However, I had to buy the castle to go with the figures. And it was still a steal, but that's okay. Let me show you what else I got. I've got, oh, heavy. This big, this entire castle. This is not Popo. This is actually a um, Melissa and Doug. And it's a folding princess castle. But it's awesome because of all the Popo figures. Those Popo figures are worth money. Sorry about that. My husband actually came in and I started talking to him. So, as I was saying, these are Popo figures. I ended up paying $20 for the castle and the figures. These figures alone, bolo, 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 bolo. Particularly, like I said between the dragon and all the different figures, the princess, the unicorn. This right here is probably $100 worth of uh, figures. So I'm very, very happy. The castle itself, being that it's huge, I'm probably going to put the castle alone up for sale for about $20. And that, that's not going to be um, on Facebook. Uh, that's going to be on Facebook, a local pickup. Then, <gasps> check this baby out. You ready? Time to start drooling, guys. Look at this. Kiss, smashes, thrashes, and hits. It is a Kiss album. <gasps> Do I dare say how much I paid for this? I looked at the comps. I'm very happy. I'm going to make good money off of that album. I'm very happy. I got a Kiss album. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. What else did I get? I got, good, I got more goodies. There's lots and lots of goodies. <gasps> Where else should I go? I'll go into this box. Ready? This, I said VHS, but look. 50th anniversary Gone with the Wind set. We know what happened with Gone with the Wind, being that they're, uh, and look at this. You even have the certificate of authenticity. We've got a beautiful, beautiful copy, Gone with the Wind, 50th anniversary set. I'm pretty sure for the amount I paid for this, I'll get something back on that. And what else? Oh, and then of course, check that baby out. Labyrinth! Love that movie. Absolutely love it. Now, I say I'm not going to get into clothing, and then what do I end up doing? I end up buying clothing. Why do I torture myself this way? I bought a couple of pieces of clothing. I'm going to show you what I got. So the first thing I did, this isn't clothing, this is actually accessories, but we know what's happening to Victoria's Secret, so <gasps> Victoria's Secret bag, why not? So that was the first thing I bought. Oh, and I got a little friend who's climbing up behind me. It's Amanda, baby. Okay, yes, treasure's coming. Hi, baby. Oh, he's in the back of my chair. Got to pick her up. This is my little baby treasure. Say hi, treasure. This is Auction Kitty. Auction Kitty is adorable. She loves mommy. Okay. So, I say I'm not going to buy clothing, and what do I end up doing? I end up getting clothing. This one, I didn't even look at the comps. All I did was look at the tag. <gasps> Montgomery Ward. That is a vintage tag. I'm curious what the comps are to this, considering how much I paid for it. It's a beautiful condition, size 16 men's button-down shirt. I'm pretty sure I could get a nice little amount for this guy. And then, more clothing. Look at that. It is an Adidas adorable pink running jacket from Adidas size. What size is this? I can't even tell what size it is. Size extra large. It is an extra large pink jacket. So I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Now here comes the bad boys. You ready? Okay, so we're going to start off with, check this out. Harley Davidson in Mazul, Iraq. Are you kidding me? Mazul, Iraq. This is... Uh, the only thing is, I don't know if it's... I mean, it's obviously Harley Davidson... But the tag does not say Harley Davidson. So I'm wondering if that is fake. I just thought that was awesome. Harley's Davidson. So we'll see what I can do with that. Then the next, and this was all part of a military one. This one is Operation Iraqi Freedom Coalition Forces. Has the cute little, it's a long sleeve black shirt. This one is Operation Iraqi Freedom. Nice black shirt. 
And then the next one, oh, I got a phone call. We're not taking that. And then the last one is Hard Rock Cafe in Dubai. And that is Hard Rock. And this is a real one because it has the Hard Rock Cafe. So I am going to start experimenting with unique t-shirts and see where that leads me because maybe that might be a market. We'll see. I don't know. But that's not all. Did I tell you I went a little overboard? Okay, check this out. John Deere salt and pepper shakers, but they're in like little cans. And they're officially licensed John Deere products. They're all numbered and everything like that. Has the cute little salt and pepper thing. Put it right on the table. If John Deere wasn't enough, then I've got, look at this. Coca-Cola. Same thing. Official Coca-Cola in like a little tin can. Adorable little for the table. I really like those. Then we've got more Coca-Cola stuff. Yes. I, I took all the Coca-Cola stuff. Did I say that? This is another Coca-Cola salt and pepper shaker. Woo! What else, what else, what else? Oh, I've got bottles. Little tiny bottles. Usually people do not realize the, um, uh, I can't talk. They don't realize the value of these small bottles, particularly if they're vintage. So definitely take a look. This one happens to be a gin and bitters cologne by Tom Fields. It says Cathedral Brand, Walbridge Company, Chief Wahoo from Electric Tonic. And then it says Celebrated Remedy. So I need you to check the comps on that. And then this one right here is just a simple made in Taiwan. But definitely these little bottles, people like bottles like that. Okay, so the next thing... I'm crazy, okay? I I made a deal. I don't know why I did this. I did this for a reason, but I got an entire series of ceramic collectibles. And I probably spent too much. I basically got them for a dollar each, but I got the entire series. So just to show them to you, I'm only going to show a few of them. I'm not going to show all of them. But the name of them are... Denim Days by Hamco. They're all like religious blue jean type uh, statues where they're like reading the Bible, reading the children, farming, that sort of thing. The only one that was a little different in the set was this one right here. Oops, I got to be careful with these because like I said, they're all denims and overalls and they're all um, numbers and, and uh, labels and everything. This one is the only one that's a little different simply because instead of blue jeans, they're in yellow trench coats. But the blue jeans is sticking out right here. But um, it's made exclusively for home interiors and gifts. They're called Denim Days. They're from 1999. I've got the entire collection. There's a total of 20 of these in here. So, yes, I did spend $20. But, like I said, I have the whole collection of these things. So you're going to start seeing me put these in lots and I gotta be really, 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 really careful with those. Oh wait, there's more. Did I say that? There's more. There's lots more. Did I did I um did I entertain you enough? I've been doing this for 13 minutes and you know something? Okay, this I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but it's completely destroyed. But I think there'll be a market for it. So I'm just going to show you. Yeah, I'm going there. Got to be careful with it. In fact, it's falling apart. It's Little Black Sambo. It is a children's book. And it is in horrible, horrible condition. I mean, look at this. Little Black Sambo. 869 because he was so hungry. Yeah, do I? I mean, people may appreciate this for the artwork. I mean, maybe. But it's like, I want to say this might have been a big book. There's no dates. There's no year. There's no anything. But it literally is falling apart right now, even as I... So why did I get this? 
They gave it to me for practically nothing. But, I don't know. Tell me. Would you have gotten this? Got to be careful with this. So this is going back in the bag. It's going back in the bag. I got to be really, really careful with that. Because I think there'll be some sort of market. Yes, I have no shame. I will work with uh, controversial topics. Did I say that? Okay. This will be interesting. Is somebody's photograph album? Creepy! They're all beautiful condition. All black and white photographs. There's some color. But, um... But they really did this an amazing job. What I'm thinking of doing is actually maybe, uh... Maybe I won't pull apart. I don't know. For people who like um, ephemera, ephemera, i got to say that correctly, this might be a perfect thing. So this is an, an ephemera photograph album that I need to put together. But wait, there's more. Did I say that? Let me just wipe this down because it's a little dusty. Very dusty. Okay, so you ready for this? This is probably going to get some good stuff. Walt Disney presents Big Red. Look at that. And this poster is from, there's a date on it. Where's the date? The date was like 1960-something. Where did I see it? Oh, I got to pull open the poster. I have no idea when the date is. Can you see the date? I can't see the date. The other one I saw the date. But it's Walt Disney Presents Big Red. So I think that is an amazing one. Because then, not only do I have one of them, I also have uh, this one too. This one, let me... Here you go. And this one's from 1964. Look at that. Emil and the Detectives. I've never even heard of this show. Or this movie, I should say. Emil and the Detectives. So I'm thinking there should be a market for that. Something I've never heard of? Yeah, why not? Oh, check this out. Harley Davidson Model 11 F. It is 1915 license plate, but it doesn't say when this license plate is from. But that's cool. And then I have... Oh, same one. I got two of them. If one wasn't enough, I got two. So that'll be a cool Harley Davidson collectible. Then, of course, there's more. Did I say? <gasps> this was just a bag of comic books, and they're really, really old. But you know something? I'm like, why not? I didn't even run comps. I didn't even look at it. I just looked at the bag and say, yep. So this is Marvel Excalibur. So I got to run the comps on this. This one I thought was awesome. Check this out. Conan the Barbarian! That's magazine. And then this is Classic Illustrated, The Iliad. This one is in really bad condition. Very bad condition. I mean, this is horrible, but watch this be worth like a lot of money. It's Hot Stuff the Little Devil. So, wow. From Harvey, Harvey Comics. And then this is Walt Disney's Davy Crockett. And then this is Classics Illustrated, I guess, yes, Don Quixote. I am I Don Quixote. What this? Amazing. I know. And all my, my paper is falling apart. But you know something? I believe there is a market for anything. No matter how old, no matter how broken up, there will be a market for it. But wait, there's more. Now, remember I said I got a whole bunch of Coca-Cola stuff? Well, guess what? I got a whole bunch of Coca-Cola stuff. So, I got a Coca-Cola Polar Bear pencil tin case. I've got a Coca-Cola bank. No, not a bank. Nope, it's just a Coca-Cola truck. Coca-Cola truck. Then we've got a... Look at this guy. This is a 1978 Wilton Fisherman Cake Topper. This guy, oh, this is Maggie, and it's some sort of stone. I'm wondering if this is um, onyx. I don't know. Maybe not. But it's some sort of carved stone, very, very heavy, and it's a stamp. 
This probably matches the jade one that I got. Then I just thought this was amazing. Check this out. This is a I can't oh 14 karat gold plated windproof lighter. It's in crappy condition, but if you look at the price, I paid half of that. Yeah, did I pay 50 cents for it? I'll test it out for 50 cents. Why not? We'll see if we can restore that. Then look at this. Coca-Cola water can. And then I got this is actually an empty pack of Viceroy filter tip cigarette case with the empty pack in king size. Um, these actually surprisingly go for money. Then I have a Coca-Cola little sled ornament. I have a Coca-Cola little bottle cap uh, uh, thing. Then I have, check this out, Levi Strauss Original Riveted Quality code, um, Clothing. It is a Levi belt buckle. I don't know what year it is, but it's old. Maybe it's not old. There's no date on it. But I'm sure somebody will like Levi Strauss belt buckle. Then I got to look the authenticity, authenticity of this because I looked up the name and the name came out really, really pretty, but it is a, a Lucerne, L-U-C-E-R-N-E, -E. Lucerne. I don't know if that's real or not. If that's real, maybe I hit the jackpot. Maybe I didn't. I don't know, but I got to do some heavy research on this. Maybe open it up or do something with it because this is something. Then we got, I thought this was interesting. It's made in England by Lindsay. Matchbox series number 66. It's a Greyhound bus. Like an old Greyhound bus. You don't see them like this anymore. And then of course, I've got, check that out. It's a Coca-Cola bucket, ice bucket. Not in the best condition, rusted out a little bit, but you know something? I carried this around and filled it up with all the goodies. Oh, buddy. Did I, do I need to say it? There's more. There's more. Yes. Did I actually buy all this stuff? Did I go crazy, crazy, crazy buying this stuff? I think I did. What else did I get? Oh, let's see. We've got, I've got a Coca-Cola tin. I've got a Coca-Cola hat. You see, a, you see a running theme here. Yes. I've got, look at this, Coca-Cola playing card set. I didn't count the cards, but I just thought that was cool anyway. Then check this out. It is a Coca-Cola brand collectible miniature clock in a plane. It's a little tiny clock. And it's in a display case that's absolutely beautiful. Then check this guy out. It is 1977 Annette Little Clown. And then this is a really old, but there's no name, there's no maker's mark, there's nothing on here. Really old diecast toy. So I know it's part of a whole um thing but just this alone this is all all um metal so very 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 and that is my collection i spent a lot actually from other people's standards with all this stuff you probably would say you didn't spend a lot at all in my head i spent a lot because generally and this is true when I go to auctions, I mean, when I go to a uh, sales like this, I only bring a budget of $40. That's my budget. My budget is $40. That was not my budget today. And my husband's going to kill me. But you see how much stuff I have. You see that I am going to start listing like crazy right now. And I'm going to try to get as much money as possible. And hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully I made some good choices. 
you tell me. Is there anything you see? Anything you like? Anything that's interesting? I don't know. But this is Melanie from Lightbeam's Treasure. And this was my sourcing day. Take care, everyone. Have a great day and good luck.